So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to sharpen certain areas of your photo that you want to stand out. So photop.com looks a lot like Photoshop. And we're using this one because you're all at home and you don't have access to Photoshop. But if you do have Photoshop and you prefer to use that, this will work on that as well. So when you have your picture here, your layer, you want to duplicate it so you can see your before and after. So normally in Photoshop, we'd right click duplicate layer, but in Photo P, we're just going to use the keyboard shortcut Command J. So now I'm going to go to filter, other, high pass. Now when this filter is applied, you will see the texture or the lines in your photo look like this. Now we want the lines to stand out just a touch. So I'm going to raise it to about 5 pixels. Don't go crazy because then it looks very unnatural. So this is perfect. We just want this mid-range here to be sharp. So I'm going to choose overlay from this menu. Now we're going to add a mask. This button down here is the mask tool and it allows me to take that filter and put it on top but I don't want this filter on everything so I'm going to invert this mask which is, means it's going to take it and put it on the bottom and I'm going to kind of rub the areas where I want it to show through. So to invert a mask you're going to go command I and you'll see it turn black. Then I'm going to get my brush tool which is this one. I need to make sure that my top color is white. When you open up Photo P, I think it defaults to black. So make sure that this is white. You click on it, choose white. And then you want a brush that is soft. So bring the hardness all the way down. And you want a size just a little bit bigger than the area that you're working with. So that's good. And then you're just going to rub the areas that you want to be a little sharper. Now I love the texture of the dog's fur, so I'm just going to rub that area a little bit more. And the ear is also a little bit kind of soft on the focus, so I'm going to rub that as well just to help it kind of stand out just a touch. Now when you're doing this, it's kind of an optical illusion. You don't see much happening until you look at the before and after. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm using the navigator window. Again, if you don't have that, you can go to window and turn on navigator. And then turn the eyeball on and off to see the before and after. Now looking at it now, I may have gone a bit too harsh on the high pass. Maybe a four pixel would have been better but it's not too bad. And let's look at the before and after back here. Okay, so that's how you sharpen something.